Welcome back at six o'clock. We asked for your questions and we've sifted through a lot of them. First one up from many of you was when should we board up? Yeah, so that is a very good question. One we answered in our hurricane special, but here it is one more time. Anytime we're expecting category one or 74 mile per hour winds, that's pretty much the baseline that you really need to be boarding up if you don't have any type of treated window. Now there is a gray area in between tropical storm force and that hurricane force because you could have things like debris flying around. So next question that we had, what is the best path for barrel in order to benefit the watershed? It's a big question right now. The path is right over the watershed. We kind of put the watershed in here over the forecast cone right now. This doesn't look like a prolific rainmaker when it gets this far uh, into the coastal bend. Right now we're looking at one to three, maybe two to four inches from barrel with this forecast. But I mean, we saw what Alberto did two to five inches. We only saw a mm -hmm. 1% increase, so this yeah. doesn't look like it's going to completely get rid of any type of problems there. Yeah, for sure. Another question. What's our chances when it comes to tornadoes for barrels? So again, like we saw with Alberto, it's going to be in those outer bands. Typically, whenever we get tornadoes with a tropical system, you can see here on our diagram, they're in these outer bands. That's where we're finding a lot of speed shear. Basically, as you get this uh, hurricane coming closer to the coast, you've got a difference in the wind speed versus the top layer of the atmosphere and the bottom and that difference in friction and all that good stuff. Usually they're brief, isolated and weak, usually EF1, EF0, something like that. And again, they are found in those outer bands of the rain. Rockport did get one with yes. Alberto, yes. so there was a confirmed tornado there. Mm -hmm. Will wind or rain be a bigger issue? Uh, you know, rain, I'm just gonna put it this way. I'm not gonna put the maps up again, but with rain, Alberto dropped over half a foot of rain in parts of the area, over nine inches, places like uh, Rockport area. Mm -hmm. We can handle that, I think. The wind is gonna be, I think, another level. It'll be another gear up from where Alberta was. We are expecting right now with the, the current cone to be tropical storm force, and that does introduce some additional hazards. Trees could maybe snap, limbs could snap. So wind may bring in the additional factor of some isolated power yeah. outages to the area. Yeah, something we don't like to see, but definitely have to talk about. One of our last questions is where do we need to go if we're gonna have to evacuate for barrel? Of course, that decision uh, is with the city and the county, Judge yes. Connie Scott. However, if you are thinking about leaving town, we would uh, encourage you to head northward. I know, Alan, you were talking about San Antonio earlier. Yeah, if I were going to leave right now, I would be telling my wife, I'm going to stay, but I would be telling my wife to go to San Antonio. By the time the storm tracks up that direction, it's going that way. It's forecast to be a depression, which is going to be lower than tropical storm force. And the reason I also say San Antonio at this point is because the cone also kind of wants to bend more in the direction of southeastern Texas. So San Antonio, you get far enough away from the coast to really avoid the big time hazards with the storm. Is that it? We're out of time. We're out of time for the question. So we're going to break or back. Okay, we're going to be right back.